and we're trying to figure out if these triangles are right triangles. So let's start with the pink group here first. Could this be a right triangle? Well, let's look at this because we have here a measurement for a side of 10 centimeters, another of 10 centimeters, and then another of the square root of 200. The square root of 200, what is that about? Well, I know that that 14 times 14 is 196 and that and that 15 times 15 is larger than 200. Let's figure it out exactly right here. 15 times 15, 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 1 plus 2 is 7, placeholder 5 and 1, 225. So 15 squared is 225 and 14 squared is 196. So the square root of 200 is between 14 and 15. Uh, much closer to 14, so it's about 14. What does that mean, and why is that useful? Well, 14 is longer than 10 and, and 10. So that means this has to be the hypotenuse. Or, I should say, if it is a right triangle, then that has to be the hypotenuse. Because the hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle. It always is. So that means we can now test our formula for the Pythagorean theorem, which says that if a squared plus b squared is the same thing as c squared, if that's true, then you have a right triangle. So 10 squared and 10 squared, those are our two legs, does that equal 14, does that equal, excuse me, the square, uh, the square root of 200. No, does it does that equal 200? And let me just explain what I just did right there. Well, if this is the side length of the longest side, right? That's what c is. Then c squared equals the square root of 200 squared. And if you if you remember from other videos, what that means is the square root of 200 times the square root of 200. And that is just going to be 200. If you think about what's happening, we're squaring the square root. Those are inverse operations. right? Whenever we square a square root, we just get the number inside the square root. In this case, 200. And what that tells me is that that's the area of the square off the hypotenuse. The side length is the square root of that, which was between 14 and 15. That's the actual length of the hypotenuse. But remember, this formula doesn't give us the length of the hypotenuse directly. It gives us the, the area of the square, if we draw a triangle of the square, off the hypotenuse, right? A square, a little square over here, plus B square, another square, equals the C square right here. That's what the formula is really showing us. Anyway, all that tells me that, yes, this is true, because 10 squared and 10 squared is 200. So a squared plus b squared is c squared. And if that's the case, then yes, this is a right triangle. If it's not, then it's not a right triangle. Let's look at what happens here. So now we're given the lengths of the triangle, 9, 16, 25. That means 25 has to be what? That's the longest side. That's the hypotenuse. And if we sketch a little triangle, 9, 16 and 25, we can test to see if this actually works. Well, a squared now is going to equal 9 squared, b squared is going to equal 16 squared, and c squared will equal 25 squared. So 9 squared is 81. 16 squared, I'm going to work that out. 6 times 6, 36. 6 times 1 plus 3 is 9. Placeholder, 6 and 1. That gives me 6, 5, 256. Does that equal 25 squared? What's well, 25 squared? 25 times 25. Um, 5 times 5, 25. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. Placeholder. And the same thing will happen again. We've got 5, 2, 1. Getting crowded over here. Add these up. 5 and 7 and 3 and, and 1. And I get 1,375. Well, that doesn't seem right. What did I do wrong? 
Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I, I assumed that this would have been the same, the same uh, digits as right here, but that doesn't make any sense because we started by multiplying by five, and then we multiplied by two, a different number. And that's my fault. Let me let me clear this out and redo that long multiplication. And that just that number seems way too large, because of course, thirty times thirty is nine hundred. So twenty-five times twenty-five has to be less than that. So let's set this one up. 5 times 5, 25. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. Placeholder, 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. This seems much more reasonable. 6, and that makes sense, 625. Um, 625. So notice that whatever 81 plus 256 is, and we can figure out that exact number in a moment, it's got to be way less than 625, so it's not equal. So this is not a right triangle, and that's what the Pythagorean theorem says. It says, if a squared and b squared is not c squared, then it can't be a right triangle. It's impossible. So let's just double check. What is 256 plus 81? Well, I'm going to add 40 to 256 twice. That will be easier for me. I'll get 296, and then 40 again, which gives me 336, and then plus 1 because it's writing 81, that's 337. And like I said, that's way less than 625, so that's not a right triangle. All right, hope this helped.